Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Coffee Talk. We're on day three, September 24th, 2020. Evening Whisper. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Vlogging is now part of curriculum at some private high schools. I imagine it would be at some point. Stop workplace racial profiling. The Orkish Workers Union demands. Good for them. Freya? Oh, not Freya! Welcome! Yo. Cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Honey milk? So just honey and milk? Just milk and honey? Honey milk? Serve it! Your honey milk is ready. You're cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Dude, I love your hair. Seems like there's a cat. <gasps> oh my gosh, she got in with me. Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? <laughs> Hi, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy! You look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw a Neko Mimi transforming. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have uh, that many Neko Mimi friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to communicate. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. Than commuting as a hum- I mean, than commuting as in bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No, milk and nothing else. You got it. Do it. Brew that milk. Your milk has been brewed. <laughs> Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Okay. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. It's just milk. You're welcome. What kind of milk, though? That, that is, if it's like 2% gross. <laughs> uh, what's a young girl like you doing alone li this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. That's how you know she's a young girl. <laughs> Er, uh, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you for sure. <laughs> Whoa! Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh, my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or if you're in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> snob? Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. <laughs> My gosh, you must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? Wow, dude. <laughs> I'll just leave that as my normal laugh. She's not that great for business, no. <laughs> oh, poor Freya. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. <laughs> She's so mean. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So what do you want to order? The usual. 
Ah, uh, poor Freya, man. <laughs> Your espresso is ready. Mmm, as good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated and started her solo career? Uh huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. <laughs> I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yay, achievement unlocked. No, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know. The usual young-looking folks' problems. Or sorry, young folks' problems. I had a fight with my father. And so here I am. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. <laughs> now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad... We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He's... he's... Ugh. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? Oh, she don't got no mom, dude. She passed away a few years ago. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment in industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Oh, Georgie. Good evening, Moosh. Good evening, or er, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Moosh. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Uh, green tea, green tea? Green tea? Like this? This one? This one. Green tea, right? You want matcha? Lemon and honey. Sure. Matcha with lemon and honey? That's a little weird, but sure. There you go. I just usually use tea bags. That's why it's a little weird. So when I worked in the cafe, we had this thing. I can't remember what it was called. It was something ball. <laughs> lemon ball or... I, I, I don't freaking remember what it was called, but it was um, peppermint tea. Uh some other tea <laughs> and then we had like a lemonade and we would <laughs> it was kind of gross but we would make it hot um we'd steam the lemonade with the peppermint and god i don't remember what the other tea was it was some other kind of tea though but you, you medicine ball they called it a medicine ball and uh it yeah it had all the all the stuff in it and then it it really did work it, it like made you it cleared up all your sinuses and made you feel good a little bit. It was nice. Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Uh, it's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cough syrup? Of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn. This is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me! Sure you want to hear it? Yes! The scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, today is my payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift such a horrible sight. Other than that and the labor union protest, everything is fine, though. 
How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking all around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Bye! Talk to you later! Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that when you're here writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar, but you're underage, right? H how did you know? You can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop! That's exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course, this is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. Or don't look at me that way, sorry. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes in public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? <laughs> you should know! You're a father yourself! <laughs> I love their little whisper argument! <laughs> oh. Right. Guys. You know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help protect her. <laughs> protect herself. Anyway, Miss... Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought with a lot of kids. A lot. Bleh, I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learned something about them. And they learned something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. It could. Because it's normal and natural to have, like, tensions, especially when you're living with other people, family, or otherwise. But, like, as long as you guys are willing to learn from the, like, that whole interaction, then I think you can grow from it together as a community and stuff. But if you're, if you're, if you have people that are, like, really hard-headed and insist that they don't learn anything from it and they only see their perspective and their point of view and they're like fuck you like no matter what then the arguments are kind of pointless and damaging i think but it happens so often tonight was just one among countless others it wasn't like this before before it happened you mean before your solo career no before mom passed away what happens after each fight Hmm, nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had argument, but your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot, or this has happened a lot. But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always runs away. <laughs> Using my job as an excuse. I, I can confirm that. 
Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now... Now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But... You don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Oh, that's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, well, uh, we'll be off then. Thank you, Moosh and Freya. You take care on your way home. Be around, Moosh. Bye! Does Freya have a cat on her phone? And there they went. Yes. Oh, sorry, yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows, maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go on vacation to finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. My door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. I mean, if her job fired her because she was working on a novel, like that alone, just be like, oh, you're working on a novel, you want to do something else that, whatever, in your free time, like, the. If she's using company time to do it, I get it. If she's doing it on her own fucking whatever, right? Like, that's not a cool thing to fire her about. <laughs> I don't know. Dark chocolate. Taking this opportunity to drink coffee of my own. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> the evening whispers. The Orgish Workers Union talks over, or sorry, talks with government over their pleas. Rep group Street Orchestra questioned over their pro ecoterrorism lyrics. Wow. Or eco terrorism. Werewolf activists imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative. Ooh, illegal fury sedative? Um, good evening, Mr. Hyde. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming. After a shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our. When obviously there's only you here. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? 
Hmm, do you have any blood? Blood. Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, did you think I was serious? Oh. Nah, give me a ginger green tea, but make sure it's very warm and bitter. Ginger green tea. Green tea. Ginger? No, very warm and wet. Bitter. Oh, bitter's down at the bottom. I'm a dum dum. Okay, warm and bitter. Got it. For some reason, I was looking at the cool and sweet areas and going like, I think I was looking at sweet in particular because bitter was right underneath it. And I was like, it's not giving me any bitterness. Uh, serve it. There you go. Have fun. Your drink is ready. Let's see. Good. Glad you like it. By the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you're you're here for work. Yes. For a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... Mm, what's the word? Something as honorable as that. Hmm? Then, are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se. But definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. But then what is it? Yes. You're a model. I saw it. Aren't you aren't you the model? You travel a lot. More or less. You befriended a startup founder. Like yeah, he's a model, right? Oh, Georgie. <gasps> wow. Oh, he likes all the cop movies. <laughs> That's funny. Uh hi. Yeah, you're a supermodel. Look at you. You're a supermodel. I'm gonna be a supermodel. Oh, Rachel. What? Fuck. God damn it. I keep doing that. I keep pressing B. I totally thought those knees were butts for a second. That was weird. Brew pad! Bam. Alright, sorry. You befriended a startup founder. So I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then. What do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But you have the looks and the figure. So I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Cool. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears. Which makes us basically a bunch of good-looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Isn't that false advertising? <laughs> don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep that wow because that was my genuine wow. My dog is staring at me. How can I assist you, sir? You want pets? Do you want love and attention? What do you want? You wanna play? What's happening? Why are you looking at me? What do you want? Tell me, speak. <laughs> I wish dogs could talk to us and cats. That'd be cool. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. Hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. 
My current liaison in the clothing- wait. My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the riding going so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck and in need of a warm drink. So, brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Hot chocolate? Do you want a hot chocolate? Because coffee? I mean, I mean, coffee. Psh. This is sweet, right? Um... Is this what you want? No, it's not. I'm gonna be legit with you guys. I have... <laughs> I have a little, uh menu for their drinks open because I want to get the best of all the things. So she wants something that is milk, ginger, and honey. Sweet, warm, without coffee. Let's do it. And after this, we should read her short story because I kind of forgot about that. A warm, sweet drink ready. Nice. A perfect drink to end a day. Good. Okay, cool. So I am I'm correct with what I was looking at. Um, I guess... Oh. She loves coffee. What am I doing with my life? Cool. Group had learned a new drink. Dun, 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 boop. Cool. Stories. Okay, let's read her stories super fast. French Kissing a Cat by Freya Fatima. Uh, so what's the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? Asked her dating app partner. Pretty bold question to ask on your first date, Akari thought to herself. And in the first hour as well. Are you sure you want to know the answer? She Whoa. Holy shit. That went so fast. She asked back. Definitely. I think it's the best icebreaker question. And it's also a good indicator... Sorry, indicator of what? I wish that this this screen scrolled more smoothly because I always lose my place, like, immediately. Indicator of what? For how compatible we are and... and? Well, you know, I don't mean to offend you, but just in case your answer is I cut someone into 12 parts or I strangled my Tinder date until he died, it's an indicator that I will immediately run away. Fair enough. Akari's interested in this guy, or er, interest in this guy increased. Maybe, just maybe, he could handle her story. So do you want me to go first, he asked. I'll go first, although it's more like a crazy hobby of mine, not something I just, uh, I did just once so I could tell the story for the rest of my life. Color me interested. So, I love to kiss cats. That doesn't sound too crazy. I'm talking about lips to lips kissing, especially French. I love French kissing a cat. Ew. Uh, what? Her date responded without hiding his surprise. You never tried it? If you feel uncomfortable with kissing a male cat, you can always try doing it with a female one. That's not the problem. <laughs> Are you telling me you've kissed a female cat before? Both male and female. I'm pretty flexible. <laughs> he didn't say anything, which was unsurprising considering such secrets weren't usually revealed on a first date, or ever for many people. It's not that bad, you know. Here, let me tell you all about the first time I French kissed my cat. I was around 14, an age where most people feel curious about many, many things, especially, ahem, <laughs> sexual stuff. But I had no boyfriend, so I couldn't just ask someone to help me practice kissing. But I did have my biggest love at the time. Her name was Orin, and she was a beautiful orange cat with a gorgeous pair of skinny, sorry, shiny orange eyes. Her date still hadn't responded, so Akari continued. Seeing her beautiful eyes, I got an idea. I decided to borrow my mother's red lipstick and paint my lips red. It was a mess, but I was pretty satisfied with the result. I picked her up as usual, and without her knowing, I quickly put my lips on hers. Of course, she clawed her way out of my grip. Uh, but just in that quick moment, I felt something weird. It's the same feeling you have when you ride the merry-go-round for the first time. No roller coaster would be a better comparison. Oh, sorry, no, roller coaster would be a better comparison. After that, I started honing my skills, and now even stray cats don't mind me kissing them. <laughs> to her surprise, Akari noticed that her date hadn't left her alone in the cafe, unlike previous dates she told her story to. 
Are you crazy? The man asked her, with his eyebrows halfway to his hairline. Well, you did ask about what the craziest thing I've ever done it, or about the- blah, blah, whatever. Why? You're not interested in kissing a cat, even after listening to my story? God, no. I'm a dog person, for God's sake. <laughs> oh my god. That one was good. That was good. Freya, I like your writing. You're very fun and funny, and I don't know. <laughs> He's like, why the fuck are you kissing cats? Well, you don't want to kiss a cat? No, I'm a dog person. <laughs> That's so silly. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, glad you like it. <laughs> so, you're a writer. Uh, yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers. But I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Uh, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So not fantasy or, or sorry, I, I, I dipped into, into my accent. So not fantasy or sci-fi? Mm, I'm still not sure. Probably it'll be normal slice of life. I always wonder how people write slice of life. Because, like, it, it's like, it has plot, but it also doesn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, so, I don't know. I love watching Slice of Life anime because they're really fun. And, like, reading manga that's Slice of Life. And, like, really cute and adorable. But, like, I, I don't understand how people write it. Because I'm like, I don't... I, my slices of life are never that interesting. So how, do, how am I supposed to write that? Uh, you'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. <laughs> Sounds a bit racist. That's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine even in a world where only one race exists, problems st will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist with other without other races? <laughs> oh, yeah. Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. Freya, you've read us too easily. <laughs> Humans suck. When everything's the same, the smallest difference will stand out. Yeah, dude, it's so fucking stupid. I don't understand. I've never understood it. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. That doesn't- that doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what-ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. <gasps> Lua! Hi, everyone! Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there! Oh, sorry. Good evening, Miss Lua. That's what it is. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I needed an escape from my co-workers, so I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? No. To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea, green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. Green tea latte! Like, I would do green tea milk milk, I think. Yeah. Ooh, let's give her some art. Um, like, I, I have a little guide open just to make sure that I'm giving them the right drinks, but, like, I'm still trying to do this all on my own. This is a terrible heart. God, what a terrible fucking heart. <laughs> this is so bad! Whatever. 
Weesh, weesh, weesh. I tried. I tried, Lua. I tried to tell you how I felt in the form of milky hearts. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. I made you some art. <laughs> Your green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink feels really heartwarming. It, dude, green tea lattes are like my fave. Fucking love them. They're so good. Call me pretentious, but I think the drink, I think drinks have the power to connect people, to connect people's hearts. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's. Has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Oh. He got a phone call. You just gonna stare at it? Uh, I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Please, don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? <coughs> Bailey's is... Oh. My doggy says bork bork. I know who Bailey's is. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> or was, I don't know. My boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Hey, is it okay for him to just ask her like that? You tell me. Sorry, you tell me. Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. Mmm, the usual racial problems then. Psst, show some manners, old man! What? I'm just following up on the question you started. It's alright. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, they fear that I'll be treated like... like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from the well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times, I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the, re with the relationship. You don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we have been for the last 10 years. Wow, 10 years. So you've been together for 10 years as a couple? And he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual? I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years. That was without familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you even if he has to leave his family. Yes. Problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Yeah. Just marry him, make a family of your own. It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible. If he regrets his decision one day, abandoning one's family is not a solution. <sighs> That's the thing though, is you're thinking too far ahead. Like I get it, you're 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 thinking of him and also of yourself, you're trying to protect yourself with that, but like you're not the one pressuring him into doing it. He's the one that made the... He came up with the idea for it. And he's the one that's making the decision. So even if he did try to, like, push it on you, put the blame back on you, you can be like, you are the one that chose this. You wanted this. I didn't want this. You wanted it. You know what I mean? Like, he, he shouldn't have any right to blame you for that. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me was a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I mean, that's on him. That's his choice. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua, did you ever think about the, <clears throat> the risks when you started dating him? Yes, no, maybe a little. We didn't think it would get this far. <laughs> From what I can see, you're the problem here. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him, family approval. If you're asking for racial reconciliation, might as well just ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? 
I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish, would it? Because I can't do the same for him. But that's your choice, and that's his choice. And if you guys have a discussion about it and be like, Bailey's, I, like, even if you're willing to do that, I'm not willing to do that, and you guys come to the agreement that that's okay for both of you, then fucking do it. <laughs> I just want them to be happy. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. You're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are, not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No, they always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is the best for you. Pretty simple. I... Oh, poor Lua. I'm sorry, I have to leave. Oh, hide. Given the hold card, card, the hold card truth. Wow, the cold hard truth. <laughs> hold card truth. <laughs> I hate to be the girl who always runs away, but thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. Ah, oh, poor Lua. <laughs> the look. You were super harsh, old man. But you agree with me, don't you? Well... You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Nala? Oh, there he is. <gasps> Yay! Good evening. Sorry, good evening, everyone. I'm trying to go deeper with that. I, I can't do deep voices very well. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Miss Freya? Sorry, how are you doing, Freya? I'm I'm in I'm I'm like adding in and deleting words left and right all the time. I can't read, guys. My I'm not I I can't. When I'm in first grade again, okay? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> but your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts. <laughs> Harshly. To someone that needed it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks can tell me about what happened. What are you going to have this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Oh, did I try mixing the ginger with tea? Yes. Tea, ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. Okay, um, uh, um, what is it? Ginger tea? Tea ginger honey? Tea ginger milk? Okay, the, the guide that I looked at, because I'm just double checking it, says tea milk ginger? Oh, Galahad! Oh, look at that! Look at that art on the top. That's nice. Let's try this one. Thank you, Moosh. Hmm. This might be it. Are you sure? I'm not 100% sure, but please make a note of it in case of emergency. Will do. Okay, now I'm ready for the story. See, in my first playthrough, I was just like, tea ginger and- I think I did tea ginger and honey last time just to check, and he was like, no, this isn't it. So tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. All right, so there's this girl. And that's about it. Hide, oh hide. You never change, do you? Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now? Dude, honesty is good and all, but, you know, try not to be a dick. A dick! Listen to her hide. She's got a good point. Ugh, 
Not you too. I was a bit surprised though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. <laughs> you do know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got all involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic, judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right, but there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've gotta go. So soon? Oh, sorry. So soon? Past midnight. I need to get some sleep. <sighs> this music. This is, uh, this is very, uh, the fuck is it called? My brain is like, Resident Evil until dawn. The evil within. There you go. <laughs> Take her on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Bye, Freya. And then there were three. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough. To fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was something indeed. Hmm. You said something about being my friend for years. Yes, why? You ever wonder what it'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Forget it. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Moosh. Thanks for the evening. Pleasure was mine. Bye. And then there were two. What was that? You know I'm better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to end the, end the day? <laughs> sure. Gala had ginger chai uh, ginger chai latte? Really? That's pretty cool. Isn't that pretty neat? Um let's do one more day. I think we'll do one more day and then we'll call it so this will be longer than an, an hour. But uh yeah, we'll do it. My doggy is looking at me. He wants the attentions. I know, baby Meester. Atlantic countries plead for land folk to send help instead of trash. Don't we all? Opinion, who watches the Watchmen in Seattle? Cats are the best creatures on Earth, Reachers. Research has proven. Oh, if only. I freaking love cats. I need coffee. Welcome. Oh. <gasps> yes! It's you! I love it. I love this dude. Ugh, drinking coffee. Um, welcome. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Ah, the usual Earthling linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Uh, do you want to order anything, sir? Oh yes, we have a to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm. What do you recommend? <laughs> I love them. We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is alright. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Everything is the same price in this coffee shop. Oh, God, how fucking convenient, dude. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order, then? Okay, we would like to order. Anything. Anything? Anything. Anything? Okay, so we can make anything, but this thing is saying to do coffee, coffee, lemon. So we're gonna do that. Serve it! Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. <laughs> I love them. I love them. Okay, let us drink this. <laughs> I 
Um. Yes? Oh, nothing. Okay. Um. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? That is a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. <laughs> drinking it? Yes, drinking it. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know why. I love... Okay, this character's name is Neil. And I fucking love it. They're like my favorite. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually, pro pro po polypropylene drinking apparatus is provided for for us to use. Pardon? A straw. <laughs> it is what you call a plastic, call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? Yes. We wonder why Earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick appar apparatus was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single-use pollutants on our planet. On your planet, sorry. Anyway, how do you drink with a straw? Just the same as- uh, the, the same as we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendage into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making processes. Processes. I see. I guess people won't suspect anything if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? Bar. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what the Earthlings call a female. And then? Read. <laughs> okay. So you come from a faraway place to find a date? Date. Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission does not have anything to do with fruits. Uh, I wasn't talking about that kind of date, either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes, isn't it, though? English language is kind of dumb. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings really do need- really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. Agreed. Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So, how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using this unique communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Although, the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I've never heard about this. What? Wait! Are you talking about a dating app? The system used a fire symbol as their sign. Are, you are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? Or what do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. Uh, and when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. It didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that cannot be considered proper. I... I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad? Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. But some did? Yes, but we got confused. Uh, when they- wait, with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings. Even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? 
Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone? Yes. But they should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each Earthling also has different interpretations of time. You're right about that. Freya. Damn it. But you're cool too. Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte, please. You got it. Is it coffee coffee milk or coffee milk milk? I would assume coffee milk milk. Let's double check that. Yep, coffee milk milk. You got it. Serve it. <clears throat> Your order is ready, miss. Thank you. How is it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy. Take your time. <laughs> He's staring at her. Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. <laughs> um. Um, excuse us. Yes? Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name Uruk High 69? Oh my god. Is this guy sane? Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. So, you have not answered our question. Are you Urukai69? No. My name is Myrtle, and I never use Urukai69 anywhere. Oh. You really are not her. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something. But we do not- Sorry, but we don't have any friends on Earth. Hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, well, from what I've gathered up to now, they are not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting, but when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search results, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about space exploration. <laughs> they call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> That's funny. Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. Aww. Oh. Aww, oh, he got stood up. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Oh. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm. That was... We are a pretty objective people. But somehow, Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. This has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed? The most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never ceases... Never... Your kind never cease to amaze us. Okay, real quick though. Um, I oh he's a vet. That was cute. Cool. Okay. Wait, no, there's more. Ooh, a myrtle. Yeah. Brew pad. We got one new drink. That guy. Wait, two. We got two new drinks. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. 
there's another one like, oh, Galahad, right, okay. I just want to read the story real quick for today. Freya hasn't come in yet. Swept right to outer space. Wait, Freya, how did you know? <sighs> Hello there, I'm a female alien. That's what you call us, right? From a planet located in a galaxy the humans call Andromeda. I'm here to make sure my kind can survive longer and spread farther across the universe. That's what was written on her dating app profile. As a sci-fi nerd, I didn't need to think much about swiping right, even though the pictures she was using for her profile were just a cosplay silhouettes, or sorry, were just cosplay silhouettes and weird artsy spaceship looking photos. Spaceship like photos. Uh, and here she is now, sipping her cup of pow pow, pow pow wamina, wamena? Looking exactly like the dream girl I've always fantasized about. Dark bobbed hair, thick eyebrows, sharp eyes, and a never-ending smile directed right at me. So yeah, I came to this place like 168 hours ago. Uh, there were 12 of us, and I'm the lucky one being located in a place with such fantastic drinks, she says. After some time spent explaining about her task as an alien. I love sci-fi, but this might be too much. She hasn't said anything about her job, where she was really born, or any other normal stuff. Maybe she's crazy. That must be it. No way, uh, no way such a perfect looking girl could be perfect on the inside, too, I say to myself. So what's your plan? Are you going to release the story as a novel, comic, game, a movie? I ask her. What story? The story you've been telling me. It sounds like it could be really popular if you adapted it to the right medium. Well, I've been telling the story through social media and dating apps. That's not enough. Uh, if it could be adapted to some sort of mainstream media, you could be rich, you know. You could be famous. Hmm, famous. Does that mean more of your people would know about my people and our mission? Definitely. And with exposure like that, it should be easier for me to meet humans with high-quality seeds? Um, yeah, I guess. Okay, then, where should I start? Suddenly my phone starts ringing. It's my best friend. Ah, uh, pardon me for a minute. I need to get this. I say to her as I answer the call. Uh... Yo, dude, who the hell is that chick you're with? She's freaking gorgeous, man. My friend, my friend's excited voice meets my ear. An overly loud whisper I'm immediately suspicious of. What? Are you at our usual coffee shop? Uh, yeah, bro, I'm lining up at the counter. Don't you see me? Oh, yep, there you are. You lucky bastard. Where did you meet that beauty, man? Or, man, I've always... I, I always love it when they grow their hair super long and then color it like that. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, the chick, bro, sat right in front of you. She looks just like my ideal girl. Long hair, all rainbow colored. Like that, big eyes and those cheekbones. I put down my phone and stare off. Stare at the round-cheeked girl in front of me with a strange mix of emotion. Why are you looking at me like that, she said. You really are an alien. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I've been telling you this whole time. Well, fuck me. Finally! That was my task all along. So my place are yours, and please, no protection. <laughs> Gross. They want to have babies. If that is, the, if that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay. Oh, I'm sorry. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please just call me Moosh. Thank you for your time, Moosh. And thank you for your input. At, also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called norm, by the way. Uh, breeding norms. Although you can use strategy as the key word. We will keep that in mind. Okay, then. We are off. Take care on your way. Sorry, take care on your way. I did that in her voice. What up, Myrtle? Freya? Yes! Freya's here, like, every night. Whoa, boy, who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. What, uh, what is an astronaut doing in the coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Laika the dog? A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit first before going on a date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common, but it doesn't have to be the have to be that literal, you know. I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like Englishman in New York alien or alien alien? Alien. Alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions, I don't know. Wow. Like, 
super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but wow. Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah? How's that going so far? The writing? Yes, the writing. With a capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> eh. I don't think it's going as well as she says. My dog is very demanding. He's very demanding right now. Ah, what do you mean? What, mister? What can I do for you? Come here. My goodness. Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that... If you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a print out of the draft. So you were planning to show it all along. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft anyway. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. All right, all right. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? <laughs> I know the feel, Freya. Um, it's okay, Freya. It's really hard to, like, give someone your writing and, like... Like, I, like you know that there's gonna be, like, some kind of criticism because it's, like, it's good if there's criticism because, at least if it's constructive, you know? Like, I didn't understand this part or might need to make this part clear or, like, this part was a little boring. Either cut it out or do something to make it not boring. Like, I don't know. Um, constructive criticism is nice, but, like... I did, uh, I was an English major, right? And so, like, there would be essays that were written sometimes, or that I writ wrote. Wow, I can't even talk. I can't talk over here. Um, and, like, I would get feedback from fellow classmates sometimes where it would just be, like, a question mark, or they'd be like, I don't like this. And it's like, that's fucking cool. What about it don't you like? Are you, is it, are you having a hard time understanding what I'm trying to say? Is it not clear? Is it boring? Does it, like, w give me something. Give me some kind of constructive feedback rather than just, like, meh or question mark. Because it's like, okay, that's cool. The question mark, I get you that maybe you don't understand something in there, but what don't you understand? Like, give me more details. <laughs> but, like getting shit back because i've also gotten stuff where it's just people like shitting all over my writing and i'm like well i'm not gonna use your feedback then because like not everyone's gonna like my writing but you're not giving me any reason why i should change it besides you don't like it i don't know but i understand freya's viewpoint like it is really really hard to give your personal writing to someone else you know um <laughs> for like feedback it's really tough it's kind of like like stage fright a little but like with writing because you're like i don't want to give this to you because you're gonna maybe say mean things about it and i'm not prepared for that even though i know it could potentially help me write it better in the future here it is thank you now let's see how was it how was it let me read it at my own pace okay What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is it the char is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. <laughs> you have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example, you? <laughs> you're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Oh! Freya's like, no! <gasps> Hi! You're cute! I like your hair and your little purple-ness. I love it. Welcome. Would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding? I'll order right away. No need to hurry. Take your time. Hmm. Is it okay if I order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like. As long as we have the ingredients. That's the case. 
you know masala chai? The tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai then. Whew, okay. Um, I would assume tea. And spicy stuff. And I always forget the third one, but it says on my little guide that I'm following ginger and cinnamon. Because I want to get all of these right. That's why I'm using the guide. I want to get them all 100% right. I believe this is the drink you were talking about. From the look of it, I think so. Let's give it a taste. This? Is it bad, miss? Oh, no. It's really good. I, it just brought back some memories. I hope they're good ones. Oh, they certainly are. Certainly are. Huh. Where were we? The main character. The character feels very you. You bet. If the readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. Don't you worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. If you say so. Um, sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yes. Sorry. Sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small-scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Or non-fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Freya's like, stop! <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow. How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book if I finish it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer, but conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. And even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. A lot of people have said that my vocabulary is uncommon. Uh, what do you do? What's your name again? Ah, pardon me, my name is Aqua. Hi Aqua, I'm Freya. And the barista here is Moosh. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? Thanks. You said you can't write? But research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. But it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. Yeah, they're different. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the media would cover, I guess. It, would, it wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my, I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> That's like so me. I'll just say stuff and then I'm like, oh shit, was that offensive? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. It's all right. Excuse me for my interrupting. Yes? You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for the project we were working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You work on MFC? Oops. I'm sorry, I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. That's totally me. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the things you worked on. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way. But you already knew that. My name is Myrtle. Er, what do you, what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further. But I, but could I ask for your business card or something, dude? I love. Myrtle and Aqua's friendship that they, like, grow into. It's so- <laughs> I fucking love it so much. Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We're, uh, we submitted queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh, yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but, um... We can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. This Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about, 
Is it the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals. But I don't- I doubt they'll do the series justice. They almost never do. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way. And some stories can only be told through this medium. And F FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. You play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of game you might see in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people play arty games are... Usually the people who play artsy games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence a lot of the players are not gamers and they're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole, lev a whole different level of many things. Eh, I'm sorry, I rambled for too long. But at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play those types of games thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know? Nailed it! <laughs> so you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our, qu our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. Uh, we can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course it won't bother me at all. I'm the one that invited you. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Moosh. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. You take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. <laughs> I love her squishy noises as she leaves. <laughs> so funny. I love the attention to detail in this game. It's so good. So, yes? That was a nice talk. But you haven't given me a proper given me proper feedback for the draft yet. And I could see that you were reading it on and off. Okay, cool, but hang on. Because I think we have Aqua. Nice. And then one more drink, right? The chai. Oop, there it is. Okay. Well, it's kinda good. <laughs> Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? You're mysterious, that much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short. And I will be really honest about it. Ooh. Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Okay. I think that's the end. Yes. Whew. Okay. That's the end of this video. Um, I'm just... Whoops. I hit my microphone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to start this one. Oh, real quick. I like that the moon changes in the background, too. I'm just going to start this so that it's here. And then, uh, yeah. We will start Sunday, September 27th in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!